Many believers have had their worst fears confirmed. The global pop superstar Justin Bieber has deleted his Instagram account, Swoon. It follows unpleasant comments Bieber received about his girlfriend, Sophia Ritchie, the daughter, of course, of Lionel Ritchie. Bieber's ex-flame, Selena Gomez, had told him simply to stop uh, posting, and indeed posturing in many cases, pictures of Sophia. Now, he decided more dramatic action was needed this is all that's left uh, for his millions of Instagram followers. Bruce Turkel is the chief executive of uh, Turkel Brands and author of All About Them, Grow Your Business by Focusing on Others. Does Justin Bieber just look... Well, you tell me what he looks like. He had 70-odd million followers, <laughs> and he gets rid of the whole lot of them on Instagram because he's in a, he's in a bit of a snip about people saying nasty things about his, his, his girlfriend. Thank you, Richard. Throw me under that bus. He has 70 million followers plus all my daughter's friends, and now I'm going to tell you what I think about him. Thank you very much. Uh, the truth is, this probably is not going to affect Justin Bieber very much. The folks it might affect, believe it or not, is Instagram, because this could become a fad. Other celebrities could say, wait a second, I want to make a stand here, and they could pull off but as well. What? I think the ironic thing is what we're going to find is Kim Kardashian is going to post on Instagram about Bieber leaving Instagram, so it's never going to end. But what purpose does it serve in the sense of, I mean, all right, you might have assumed by now, with everything he's been through, that he might have guessed that people say unpleasant things about him admittedly even unpleasant and i'm sure since she's the daughter of lionel richie she's seen a few unpleasant things about her father or about her family at some point so i don't get where this has come from or where it's going remember the old saying richard if justin bieber falls in a forest and there's no one there to post it on instagram did he actually fall what we're going to find out is if either one of them are talents or simply celebrities because the machine the social media machine feeds on celebrity not talent you open the show talking about believers you notice there's no Kevin Mahoganizers or Claptoners or Pacinoers because celebrity and talent are very very different this is gonna actually prove if there's any profundity to his talent or in fact if he's famous simply because he's famous no come on he's a he, he, he's a star in his own right and his music is what widely acclaimed as, as, as being good. So from that point of view, I come back to my... To, I'm going to round it off with the first question I start with. Does he look bad for doing it, or does he look gallant for saving the reputation of his young lady? OK, now, let me add something else. I don't think it has anything to do with the reputation of his young lady. It has to do with money. Follow the money. What happens every time he's on Instagram is he builds Instagram's brand value and he builds their shareholder value. But they're not paying him to be on there. So what he's looking to do, as so many other celebrities are, is to find that fine balance between monetizing who they can bring to a platform and what they're worth. And if he can demonstrate that, in fact, Instagram has suffered because he's not there, there might be something real. I poo-poo the whole idea of him gallantly throwing his cape across the social media chasm, to completely mix my metaphors, and saving his young lady from um, right. dirtying herself with what the public thinks. Mixed metaphors couldn't be more perfect. Crest means business, exactly the place where you can mix <laughs> your metaphors and fall over your feet. Bruce, good Thank to you. see you in Miami tonight. Thank you for joining us. What a brilliant...